This is the ultimate risk management guide. All right, so as stated in the title, in this video, I'm going to talk about risk management and about how important risk management actually is. But before I get into that, please let me know down below how much you are risking per trade. I'm very curious to see um, in percentage, of course, of your account balance. I'm curious to see what your risk management currently is. Okay. And after this video, at the end, let me know <laughs> what risk management you will now start to use. Of course, maybe you already have a solid risk management and you want to change it. If that's the case, good for you. Let me know as well. I am very, very curious. Okay. So in my opinion, risk management is probably the most important aspect when trading. Yes, of course, I know we need a proven um, profitable strategy in order to even try and be profitable because no matter how good risk management would be if our strategy is entering uh, I don't know entering a buy uh, at a uh, RSI 90 level let's say uh, no matter how good our risk management would be if the strategy is very very poor uh, we still won't manage to be consistent that being said though in my opinion too many people try to focus on their strategy instead of their risk management. There is people out there that literally trade the simplest strategies, literally the simplest strategies out there. EMA uh, retests, um, basic support and resistance, um, RSI overbought or oversold, MACD strategies. There's people that trade super, super, super simple strategies but because they because they keep it really simple and they focus a lot on their risk management and trading plan they are more consistent than someone that tries to trade um a super complex uh, uh scale down strategy from the daily to the one minute that tries to catch a 1 to 20 risk to reward i'm not saying that doesn't work of course there's people out there that trade smart money concepts and they're super profitable with it but there's too many, too many people out there that just focus on the strategy instead of risk management. Trust me, we trade. Why, why did we start trading? Ask yourself this. Why did we start trading? We started to trade because we wanted more freedom. That's literally the most important part. And I would say 99% of people start trading because they want more freedom. It can be financial freedom, it can be time freedom, it can be location freedom because you can trade um, from your bedroom, you can trade from, I don't know, a different country. So overall, freedom is the reason why we started trading. So the weird thing is, there's no freedom in trying to switch the strategies every single week or trying to add this or add that or add this confluence or add that confluence or... Uh, I don't know, uh, try a different time frame, try a different pair, um, and so much, so on. We get so many details that we try to, 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 to try every single day. And that literally brings us in, in a labyrinth that we cannot really escape. And it's, it's pretty, it's pretty hard. You know, it's, it gets really hard because you're trying you're doing this, you're doing that, you're trying so many different strategies and you still cannot achieve that profitability. Where the essence is really in the simple things. Less is always more. Also, for the people that do not have time to trade Forex every single day or still struggle being profitable while trading Forex but still want to get setups like this, I highly recommend you check out my free signal group on Telegram. The link is down below. This setup was literally sent today. It was a buy limit pending order. All we do is send pending orders because like this, every single one of you will be able to make profits from the signals. And this one was sent in the VIP. Of course, if you want to upgrade to the VIP where we do VIP live weekly coaching sessions every single week, you can do that from the free signal group. Okay, enjoy and thank me later. As I said, there's literally people like, there's so many profitable strategies out there. Our only goal in this market, strategy-wise, is to get an edge in the market. Because essentially, all profitable traders do around the exact same thing. No matter how 
uh, how different their strategies might be. Let's say you get a retail trader and a smart money concept trader. No matter how different their strategies are, ev e eventually they pretty much do the same thing in the market, profit wise, I would say. Of course, uh, account balance matters. I I'm talking about percentage wise, okay? So this brings me to the importance of risk management. I would say risk management is probably 90% of trading. 10% is strategy and that's it. And of course, that 90% of risk management, uh, I would say that includes discipline and having a solid trading plan and mindset, of course, in that 90%. The reason I say only 10% strategy is because, as I said, our only goal is to get an edge on this market. And to get an edge on this market is simple. Okay, like there's so many super strategies out there, like uh, supply and demand, Fibonacci, uh, support and resistance. As I said, there are really simple strategies that work, but they work if proper risk management is used. Okay, it's not on, oh, if I get this many confluences, I will be better. I will have a better strategy. No, 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 it's not about that. How many times, tell me, how many times you had all your confluences on one trade and it happened to hit your stop loss and you were like bro what the heck i mean i had all the, these confluences and it still hit the stop loss and then i'm asking you again how many times a trade has had less confluences and it still hit the take profit you see what i mean i'm probably sure that most of you already noticed that that there's trades out there that make less sense even though they respect your strategy that play out and there's trades that respect your strategy and make even more sense because of the confluences and they happen to hit the stop loss. So that means that trading is a game of probabilities and our goal is to have an edge. After we have the edge, don't try to add too many confluences because no, it's not going to increase your win rate. It's not going to do that. The only thing that can improve your trading is risk management in my opinion. And now I'm going to talk a bit about risk management. So what can we do with risk management? Well, for me, the most important part is trying to, dec to decrease your losing rate. I'm going to say that once more. Trying to decrease your losing rate, not increase your win rate, because as I said, it's very hard to do that. But we can, we can, in we we can decrease our lose rate. How can we do that? Well, let's say we have a one to two risk to reward rate strategy. That's our strategy. You already have a solid risk plan. You risk 1% per trade. Um, what you could do to improve your lose rate to decrease it is a very simple thing. Just move your stop loss and break even at one to one. I know this sounds super simple. Once price hits one to one, move your stop loss at break even. Why? Because like this, even though you have a one to two risk to reward rate strategy, you will have a loose a, a losing rate of a one to one risk to reward strategy. Make sense? I hope it does. And like this price, when it will come back, it will get you out of break even and probably most of the times it will hit the stop loss if the rejection wasn't that um, that um, that hard, I would say. And uh, like this, you will have a better loss rate. Same goes with one to three. Let's say you use a one to three risk to reward rate strategy. Again, you will have a risk to reward of one to three, but moving your stop loss at break even after one to one will decrease your losing rate, which in my opinion, it is very, very important. Okay. And have it, having uh, a solid risk management plan like this one, in my opinion, will help you be more profitable. Okay. And as I said, focusing on risk management is key in my opinion. As long as you already have a decent strategy that you backtest it, that you know it works. If it works, don't change it. Why do you need to change it? Oh, because I want to have a bigger win rate. Do you know that if adding those confluences, you will have a bigger win rate? No, because as I said earlier, there's going to be trades with all the confluences needed and they're still going to go south. And there's trades with less confluences that will hit your take profit. So that's why I mean by a game of probabilities, okay? Um, also, 
risk percentage per trade. That's also very important. I personally suggest to risk between 1% to 3% if it's a personal account and if it's a prop form account, 0.5% every single trade, no matter the stop loss size. Okay, that's my personal opinion. Of course, take this with a grain of salt. Uh, you can do whatever you want for yourself. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just here. I'm just here to share my opinion, and I just hope I help somebody with these videos. Okay, and yeah, to be honest, this is the ultimate risk management guide. It is very simple. I know you probably expected something super complex with all oh, trading stops. Uh, closing half of the position there. I'm not saying that doesn't work. That does work. But in my opinion, this is a lot easier. Okay. This is a lot easier in my opinion. And just stick to it. Rinse and repeat. Stick to it. Don't try to change it overnight. And remember why you started. You started trading for freedom, not for testing 10 strategies every single week and spending hours in front of the charts. That's not why we started trading. But of course, that's my opinion. If you want to spend five, six hours in front of the charts every single day, testing 10 different strategies every single week, then that is totally fine. Okay. But that being said, this was it for today's video. Please subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos like this one. And please let me know down below what your thoughts on this video are. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.